Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Evidence and in today's video, I am going to show you how to download a subdirectory from GitHub. So, let's go to GitHub real quick. I'm under normal circumstances. This is a directory that I have here and Normally, if you want to get all these files in this directory, you just do um, git clone and you copy the folder to your local computer. But what if you want a subdirectory? So here I have a lot of data sets, but for the project I'm working on, I only want this data set right here. So I need to copy just this um, subdirectory. So how do you copy different subdirectories from GitHub? Well, I'm gonna show you. So there are a couple of tools that's been established to help you download subdirectories from GitHub. Um, this is one of them. So if we go to this website here, uh, downloaddirectory.github.io, and I'm going to put all this link in the description below. But I'm going to copy this directory so you can have see what it looks like. So the way this works is you just go to GitHub and copy the URL of the file of the subfolder. And you paste it here and press enter. And I'm going to demonstrate that real quick. So this is the GitHub subdirectory that I want to copy. I went ahead and got this URL. Let's go back here. I'm gonna paste it here and press enter. And it comes like this as a zip file. And then you just save it to the folder you want it to be saved in, in your local computer. And just like that, you are done. But this is not the only option. There are a couple of other options for downloading subfolders using GitHub. So the other option you have is Refine GitHub Chrome extension. So this extension is only available in, in Google Chrome. You cannot get it using Firefox. So let's go over to Google Chrome real quick. So this is Google Chrome. And once you are here at the Google Chrome, you can go to the Google Chrome extension store and search for Refine GitHub extension. And basically the way it works is you log in and then you click on this and it will download it. And I'm gonna demonstrate this here real quick. So here in the Chrome extension store, you just type in Refine GitHub. And it's this one that has a purple GitHub logo. That's the one. So you click it and then you add it to Google Chrome. So I'm gonna go to GitHub real quick and I'm gonna show you how it would work. So if you are here on GitHub, um, you click on song data, which is this, and then you click on this. And you can see where it says download directory. So this download directory is only available because of this refined GitHub extension. If we go back to Firefox here real quick, where I don't have the extension, if you click on this, if you click on this triple dot right here, there's no direct download directory option. So this option is only available because of this refined GitHub extension. So that's another way to download a subdirectory from GitHub. Another option for downloading a subdirectory from GitHub is using git zip. So I'm gonna copy this, and of course I'm also gonna add this link um, to the description below. So this is what git zip looks like, and it's basically the same concept as this one. You get the URL, or subfolder URL, and then you put it right here, and then you just click on download, and that's it. Now the last option I'm gonna show you for downloading GitHub software that is actually my favorite. So this right here is my favorite 
option for downloading github subfolders and we are gonna go to this url really quickly and this is what it looks like once again you put in the url and then you will get the download now as you can see you have many different options for downloading a subfolder from github which is great but let me warn you like you have a rate limit and i'm gonna show you what it means here in a minute so sometimes you run into a rate limit problem so sometimes when you try to download something you get this like you get uh, this icon plus your token rate limit has been exceeded and um, that's because there is a rate limit of a thousand requests per hour per repository and for organizations that belong to github enterprise there is a 15,000 requests per hour per repository. If you're using GitHub built-in actions, these are your rate limit. But for unauthenticated requests, the rate limit allows for up to 60 requests per hour. So whenever you get um, this problem right here, you just have to wait until you can obtain a new token. And um, I think if you just wait one hour, you'll be able to download the another folder. Um, from GitHub using the tools I showed you. Unless you obtain a GitHub token um, using GitHub Actions. And in this situation, like if you run into that um, rate limit problem, when you are using GitZip, it has an option for you to add in your token right here. If you run into a rate limit problem even in download directory.github.io it has the option for you to add um, the token so basically it puts the information plus the token and of course you can click on these links to get more information if we go to um, downgate and put in the same url and then from downgate you can either create a download link or download it that's one of the reasons why this is my favorite because you can Create a link or download it directly. Let me create a download and just like that, it was successfully downloaded. Now, let me go to Chrome, click on this, download directory, and it will bring you to this URL. So basically, um, this download directory.github.io link is the same thing as refined github so when you click on this it will take you to that url that's basically it um, for this video if you keep clicking the download button eventually you're gonna run into this problem um, looks like i haven't reached my rate limit yet that's why i didn't run into that problem but yeah if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the youtube channel let me know what you think in the comment section and i'll talk to you on the next video bye